Hello, listeners. I'm just pouring myself a glass of delicious cold hatred,、uh, and I'm just gonna <sighs> sup on that for a little.、It's、Why not... are you sipping hatred?、Um, What kind of start is that to this podcast? Yeah, I know that. I'm sipping a golden cup of love. Actually, I'm going to stop. I'm trying to give、mm. up hatred. Actually, have some love, man. It's tastier than hate. It doesn't have that bitter aftertaste. You're right. Is this diet love? Yeah, that's diet love.、Um, yeah, I was on full fat hate there.、So. Yeah. Hello, my name's Joe. Hi, this is Adam, and welcome to the Coca Cola New Music Podcast, where we play you the best unsigned music from around Europe that we've managed to gather、uh, f- from of, of of the month around my Europe. Around Myrope, it's the new internet way of saying Europe. Yeah, it's not Europe, it's Myrope. It's together. It's, it's our Europe. <laughs> oh dear, Myrope. What? Anyway, listen, we've got great music for you, listeners. Thank you very much for downloading the podcast this month, and I don't think you're going to regret it. No, can't guarantee, obviously. But、uh, we're going to start with a very strong track, indeed. And this,、Blech. how do you feel, Joe Cornish, about the following ponies? I love ponies. They're lovely. Yeah, they're like little horses. That's true. In fact, they are little horses. <laughs> yeah, little furry. Ho- oh, they're soft. Oh, tickle their tummies. I think you're getting ponies confused with cats. You know what I'd really like? What? It's like a very posh little girl who was brought up in Australia and quite spoiled. Yeah. Who had a pony when she was a child? She was obsessed with ponies as a child. Right.、Uh, entered various horse shows, a bit like that film National Velvet. Remember、mm. that film? Yeah.、Uh, then she grows up. Becomes a woman, oof, oof. and suddenly all her girlhood fixations with little ponies become something sexy and twisted, electronic and interesting. And she forms a band. And what does she call them? Vote Show Pony. She's a sexy Australian woman, and she's wearing a tiny cocked top hat. It's a valid generalisation that little girls love ponies, and then they grow up, and they start to love men. What the ponies? No, the girls, the ponies as well. Some ponies love men. Yeah, that's the love that dare not speak its name <laughs> between men and ponies. <laughs> ah, well, let's hope we find out a bit more about that、uh, in this our first track from Vote Show Pony. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a pony in the studio. I think this is called City Girl. Oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> pony. <laughs> I haven't given it a name. I just call it Pony. That's City Girl by Vote Show Pony. Yeah, I think that deserves to be、uh, a big smash. Well, she's got a lot of things going on there, doesn't she? She's got the Kate Bush vocal inflection,、mm-hmm. uh, which is nice. She works it well, and there's a sort of electronicy Scissor Sisters type burble happening、uh, there, and some fantastic,、uh, you know, backing vocals, melodious harmonic vocals going all over the shop, all over the shop, all over the shop in me, all areas of the shop. To that area of the shop, that, that area is closed for stop taking. That's Don't go in. That's staff only.、It. Attacks on staff will not be tolerated. Are there any shops in which attacks on staff are tolerated? That's the kind of shop that I would like to go into, where they actually encourage attacks on staff. Yeah, you know what I mean. They hire the grumpiest, most unhelpful staff they can, and you're allowed to smack them. And you can smack them around a little bit. What would you? Why would you smack them around for? Well, you would smack them around for、uh, appearing to be delighted when they are unable to help you. That's my prime. <laughs>、right. That's my prime beef with many shop assistants. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You go in there. Excuse me. Have you got、um, a City Girl by Vote Show Pony? No. <laughs> What? C- can you help me f- find it? Not really. <laughs> no system's broken down. Yeah. <laughs> It's not on the computer. When's it out? Do you know when's it out? Do you know what the catalog number is? Well, if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? Smack. At that point, you would smack them in the face, and、uh, in the, in our magical shop,、mm. that would be encouraged. The lead singer of Vote Show Pony is called Sorica Hawkins. Her nickname is Scorcher. Scorcher. Yeah, as in the the famous '80s Sun headline, "Few What a Scorcher." Few. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Named just, after just that. Letting you know that. Okay.、Uh, and she's quite attractive. She is very attractive.、Listeners. She's got a MySpace page and a sexy, haughty demeanour. And a tiny little top hat. She wears a little top hat on her head at an angle, like like Lady Snooty. Anyway, so there you go, City Girl、uh, by Vote Show Pony. Only a matter of time, surely, before that.、Uh, before. Yeah, what are you doing, record labels? Why aren't they signed? Yeah, exactly. Why aren't they at the top of the charts? Absolutely. 
I mean, because that must be a no-brainer for the marketing department. What are the What are the marketing department thinking? Big, sexy Australian model. Come on. Good voice, interesting tunes going on there. Lyrics about taking Charlie to the party mm. and taking the man out of you before she's before you're broken into. I tell you what she likes is she likes to spend the night together dressed in leather. It paints such a vivid picture. Why would anyone want to spend the night together dressed in leather? Because she's a dirty city girl. But that's just uncomfortable and, and she likes the tooty. No, it's dirty. Isn't it's it? it's sexy discomfort. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. This track's called Favourite Song. It's by uh, a band or a man called Guts. And it's apparently mixed by a man called Guy. When I like to have a song of mine mixed, I only go to Guy. <laughs> if Guy is the very best mixer. I only go to Guy. If, some, if I say to the man, excuse me, I would like a track mixed. He says, oh. Would you like it mixed by Gerard? I say, no! Would you like it mixed by Santa Le Mixer? I hate Santa Le Mixer! <laughs> Would you like it mixed by Pierre? No, I don't like Pierre! Well, the only person that left available is Guy. I like Guy. Oh, that is perfect. Can I hear, please, an example of Guy? Oui, voici, Guy? voici une track to Guy. Oh, je t'aime already. There we are, that's favourite song by Guts. What would be the one question you would ask Guts if he was in front of you right now? Man, there's so mu- so many things I want to ask You can Guts ask him about, about anything. Well, there's so, it's so difficult to choose a, a single thing. Yeah. Because, you know, obviously he knows all about everything. Shall I narrow it down? Yeah. What, what question would you ask him about B-Days? Right. Uh, I don't know. Do you know what I would ask him? What? What? Are they phasing the B-Day out? What, this is just because he's French? When you... Because you went to America recently, right? And B-Days are French, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, did they have B-Days in the hotels where you stayed? No. No, there are no B-Days in the mail. When I uh, went to America in the olden days, mm. once or twice, they had B-Days everywhere. It was like the thing to have a little B-Day. And I didn't know what they were. You know, to me, it looked like a fun mini bath where you washed I your thought dollies. Were, I thought they were... Foot baths. Well, exactly. Foot bath or dolly bath. Just an enjoyable little place to hang it out. It turns out they're for washing your bum hole. Your bottom hole. Can you believe that? The French are outrageous, aren't they? Why they're is that? They're disgusting. Well, they're disgusting in a way, but also they're less disgusting. Well, they're much less disgusting. Because they've got cleaner disgusting. bum holes. Yeah, I mean, it's an admirable obsession to have a uh, <coughs> hygienic undercarriage. Mm, where, of course, the Japanese combine the lavatory and the bidet, and they have jets of boiling hot water activated by the press of a button. What douche your douche hole. Yeah, that's right. You've got to sometimes cup your julies, otherwise they could be blown right Whereas off Whereas the British, they don't bother with They're it. They're not bothered. We've just got stinky bum holes <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. It's not a nice topic of conversation, but when you start thinking about it, it's hard to forget about it. I just wonder why, like, there, there seemed to be a point in maybe the early 80s or the late 70s when B-Days were all the rage and they were sweeping the world, and now it seems as if everyone's just forgotten about Forgotten it. about the B-Days. Well, it might be the invention of moist toilet tissue. Maybe you're right. Or, uh, you know, more roomy boxes and things like that, that that keep things air circulating down there a lot more and everything dries out much quicker. I think this is an unpleasant topic of conversation. Yeah, it is an unpleasant topic of conversation. You're right. Uh, that's, uh, that's your fault. (laughs) (laughs) Shall we have more music? You are my favourite song I can recall. (laughs) Where are to go we now? Now it's time for some British music, listeners. You know what I like? I like it when a band chop up a phrase or word into little different bits to Mm -hmm. create a new phrase or word. Mm -hmm. For example... We've talked about this before on our other podcasts, but uh, Public Enemy are fond of doing it. Muse sick in our mess age mm-hmm. can also be read music and our message, for example. Well, here's a band that's done exactly that kind of thing. They've called themselves a band on hope. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Abandon hope. What's good about that is. Did you hear what I just said yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take it in, man. Yeah. It's, it's basically um, blowing my mind. Good. But what I like about it is the polar opposites of the two meanings. What? Exactly. Abandon hope 
a band on, on hope. hope. Are they, they full of hope or are they hopeless? Uh, hope is the world going to end? Or is, is the world just beginning? beginning. It's what, what we all feel, feel like day to day, day with the current and political, political social and news, news. Climate. climate. Turn on the telly. Me. Everything you see is depressing. Go out in the street. It's sunny, but Me. is that, is that, is that the you? beginning is of the end? Is it killing you at the end? You know, should we be happy or sad? Should we be... Sane or mad? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot to think about there. There's a lot to think about. And you know who's been thinking about all those things? A band on hope. This is a track by them called Spaced Out Breakout. And the lyrics are dealing with many of the things mm. we've just been talking about. The feeling of being trapped in the matrix. That's something that we all worry about. Mm. Uh, uh, the f- and just being spaced out in general, whether it's on things that you shouldn't be putting in your body or just with anxiety. Well, let's have a a close listen to those lyrics and and see what we make of them. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is nice sounds, you know. What? Yeah, do you remember... Do you remember that? I don't remember. Do you remember that song that we just... Like, that song we just heard about, like, space... But do you no listen man no, listen, listen, up, listen, man. listen do you remember the song what? like a moment ago yeah. with all the bloke, all the bloke and all the talking, talking about talking space about and all that like space. the cosmos in the boom box well, <laughs> well, do you remember what you say what did you say well just that what did you talk about what what were you talking about now what are you doing in my flat man what, are you? what is your name man who are you, man? Shut up. You're freaking me out about all what? that stuff and talking about Where's it. the sofa? I what sp- have you done with the sofa? I speak anti-matter. My, I, I think, <laughs> oh, my mum's my dead. Yeah, what? What? This was filmed on location at the Alien Invasion. I, I love you. Yeah, what? I love, I love you. Shut up, man. Get off. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I love you, that's... I don't... I feel... What is this? You're confusing me. What's in this cigarette? <laughs> are we even worth saving? Yeah. What, the, the human race? Yeah. You, you are... You are, man. I am, man. You am. I... I, I am... You. I, no, do you hear that? What Shut I said? Up. I said, I, I am, man. I am, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yes, so there you go. That's uh, we, we were just eavesdropping there on an evening with a band on hope. That's the kind of thing they chat about when they've been rapping about space. It reminds me of other great space raps. Uh, do you think Eric B and Rakim's "Follow the Leader" counts as a space rap? Yeah, it has similar cosmic metaphors. It's got sort of space sounds going on there, and that's surely one of the greatest space raps of all time. But I enjoyed that very much. The brilliant line, planets are smalls, are balls are clay. Yeah, there you For go. For instance. Flowing through the Milky Way, world's out of sight. Far as the eye can see, not, not even, even a, a satellite. satellite. Yeah, we, can, we, we, we won't be able to get copyright clearance for these lyrics. Yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, so uh, there's a band on Hope. They speak antimatter, and uh, they're asking a lot of important questions there. I like that uh, song a lot. I particularly, um, you know, love the rap itself, but I really like the stuttery kick drum. Mm. A little fluttery, stuttery kick drum uh, uh, around the the beat. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Often that's the key to good hip hop, you know, placing your, placing your... um, Is it? Yeah, I think in my brain, I'm not saying I know what I'm talking about. For me, the key to truly excellent (laughs) hip hop is an MC that will throw down <laughs> so brutally that it bitch slap your ass right in the face of the area. Is it? Is it called a kick drum? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking no about. But that was a very good song. Well done. It, was it wasn't a, a song. It wasn't, you can't call it a song. It's a jam. It's called <laughs> a jam. You can't even call it a jam anymore. What can you call it then? A, a, a unit. Unit? <laughs> Now, if you're a budding producer, if producing is your thing, if you like the knob twiddling, then you might be intrigued by this track. This is by a band called Fools of Fortune, and it's called Johnny Took on the World and Lost. But we've been debating, we've had an interesting little debate in the studio as to whether this is deliberately sort of muddily produced as a stylistic choice. It sounds like almost a a demo uh, vocal on this track. Mm. Or is it um, 
you know, is it is it a limitation on their part that they just haven't got very good gear? Because usually the standard of production here on the Coca Cola New Music podcast is extremely high, and we're not saying that this isn't well produced. We're just not sure whether it's sort of deliberately amateur. They、feeling. might be sort of old technology queens. You know what I mean? Like they've eschewed computer technology completely and gone back to their kind of four track. To me, it just sounds like a good old honest bedroom production. Yeah, you know, and it sounds as if the band. Are in Mum's bedroom, and the lead singer's in the attic. See, that's charming stuff there. I think、uh, that is by Fools of Fortune with Johnny took the world on and lost. Very, very reminiscent of Jilted John as well, of course. Gordon is a moron. In the hands of a producer, they might try and make him shout or sing through a megaphone, as is the current style, or distort his vocals. But no. I think they should keep him all all soft and sweet sounding. Well, it was very honest, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice, straightforward. Yeah, unironic. Yeah, liked it. Two, well done. Two and a half thumbs up out of a possible three thumbs up. What happened to the other <laughs> half a thumb, Adam and Joe? I'm withholding it for questionable production values. Well, we. I thought we said we don't know whether it's intentional or unintentional.、Well, that's why I'm saying I. I, I don't want to、like、throw the all three thumbs in Guys, there. Guys, I give you three thumbs up. <sighs> I think unsigned bands. They. They. They, they don't need like、yeah. this wavering support. Second single comes out, turns out to be a turkey. Your three thumbs are going to come back and smack you right in the nose. Do you think so? Oh yes. I, I'm. I'm. I don't care.、I'm、just hedging my bets. That's all I'm doing. Are you?、Uh, do you regularly get? The Yellow Pages、uh, delivered to you free. You know what? The Yellow Pages is my favourite magazine. How about the phone book, though? When was the last time that you not only unwrapped the phone book from its free cellophane packaging, but actually used the effing thing? <laughs> Who has used the phone book?、Thank、Who's God, looked up a number? Thank God you've brought this up in the phone book recently. I'm just thinking because, like, this,、yeah. you know, there's all there's often、uh, a vein of. Climate disaster awareness about our conversations, Joe.、Mm-hmm. We're right on that. And you're saying that the phone book uses a lot of paper. They, they're destroying, they're digging up、and、large think, chunks of the planet to make the phone the, book. Can you get all the, all their numbers on the internet? Who, who uses? Who is who you? <laughs> who uses? I've been joined by an owl. <laughs> I've been joined by a giant owl called Michael. Who you? <laughs>、um, I I use it every now and then. Well, in the olden days. It was you'd say to someone, you know, I'm I'm in the phone book. So you'd meet someone and they'd say, "My name's uh, uh, Robin Charles Worth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the phone book." And then you'd think it was good meeting Robin Charles Worth. I, I'd like to g- give him a phone call on the telephone. Oh no! Except I don't、ABC. know his number. So then you'd. You'd, yes, yeah,、exactly. Charlesworth. Charles Robin Charlesworth. And look, here's Robin Charlesworth's address too. It would be 64, underneath the number. Charleston Mansions, Villas Town. Villa, <laughs> Villas Town. Sixty four Charleston Villas Town. So I have the option of phoning Robin、yeah. Charlesworth and visiting him if I should so wish to. Yeah. Now, what do you do if you meet Robin Charlesworth? You He goes Google me. You <laughs> <laughs> He goes. I'll whap you, my. Deets. I'll whap you, my deets. You, f- you. F- I'm on drugs. You. F- oh, <laughs> I just whapped you, my deets. You f- loser. That's what wow. Like that's、nowadays. that's how the world's changed. Yeah. I do you pre- like Russell Brand? He's f- funny. <laughs> <laughs> how very modern. That's amazing, isn't it? That's how, a portrait how, of how life the world's in 2007. Changed, how the world's changed. <laughs> But you know, you used to be able to、uh, get the nice lady on direct re- direct we inquire with. Yeah, that's true. And get a number. But now that's all privatised. Yeah. You just get charged up the spout. Exactly. For it. Well, you used to be able to lie to the lady sometimes as well. You know, when you were in a public phone booth, you、mm. could do that thing of ringing up and saying, "My Martin P got jammed. Can I have a free <laughs> call, please?" And they would say, "Okay, connect to you." Certainly, you can. Are you? Are you? Do you promise me it was jammed? Yes. Okay, connecting you. That's what it was like in the old days, listeners. Mm, mm. Before Tony B. Liar. Thanks a lot, Tony Blair. Thanks a lot, Tony Blair. You've ruined Britain. You've ru- Tony and Blair and the British Isles and, and Northern Ireland. Exactly, and the rest of the world, and Iraq, and, and the Asian areas. Exactly, and Al Gore. Has ruined the climate, the environment. Thanks, thanks the environment. a lot for that, Al. Thanks, Al Gore. Thanks, Tony Blair. <laughs> And you know what? What? Thanks, George Bush. Yeah. 
for organising the party. The shrub, I call him. Oh, right. The shrub. You should. You know what bush is another word for? What? Shrub? Time for more new music. This is Half Past Eight by The Caves with a K. The Caves there with a K and Half Past Eight. Now, listen, remember out there, listeners, if you've got a band and you make new music and you're not signed, then you can upload your track on the Coca-Cola website, right? Yeah, exactly. This is what That's what this is all about at the end of the day. And there's so much good music. I mean, we listen to a great deal. We have to filter it out to just select a few tracks for these monthly podcasts. But of course, you can listen to many, many, many more tunes on the Coke website. Suggest you do that immediately. And... And it's anybody's game, you know. We listen to all the new music. And, uh, you know, only a few tracks stand out, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. A lot of it's very samey, listeners. A lot of people ploughing the same musical furrow. That's true, you know... Listeners, it's really not that hard to, to make noticed. an impression. Yeah. Because you just have to avoid what everyone else is doing. When you're doing your song, as good as it is, ask yourself the following question. Does this song sound like something that's in the charts right now? If the answer's yes, then add a triangle. <laughs> what do you mean, add a triangle? <laughs> to make it different. Oh, really? Is that the key? Yes. A triangle. How many triangles do you hear in the current ding, pop charts? Ding, 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 ding. That kind of thing. That kind of thing. Wow, just record that. Loop it onto your track. Uh huh. Add a triangle. And if that sounds too much like Lonnie Liston Smith, Mm -hmm. then add something else. A French lady with a tiny top hat. That's right. A stuttery kick drum. That'll get you noticed. Or try being as crazy, as eccentric, and individual as our last track today. Now, this is an outfit that, if there's any justice in the world, you should hear a great deal more of in the future. Just the name's enough to get you listening. Yeah, yeah. This band is called Julius Martov and the Sexy Mistakes. Now, that is a good name for a band. In a way, we're all sexy mistakes. That's true. I never thought about that. Wow. Extraordinary business there from Julius Martov and the Sexy Mistakes. Now, we really built that one up before we played it, didn't we? It deserves we? to be built up. It is good. Come on, listen. It, it may not be to your taste, listeners, yeah. but you cannot deny that kind of sounds unlike anything else you've ever heard, unless you've heard a lot of <clears throat> The Fall and The Jesus and Mary Chain. And, and uh, legendary kind of Pink Dots and sort of obscure indie bands from when indie was indie. The biggest sexy mistake anyone can make is... Downloading those pictures. Uh, yeah, well, that's obviously a, uh, quite a... Big sexy mistake. <laughs> uh, other the, the key sexy mistake anyone can make, I think, is to drink alcohol and think that it's going to make life easier in the sexy department. Do you know what I mean? Because things just... Uh, Surely it does. No. Yeah, if the other person's drunk alcohol, then you can make a sexy mistake together. You know, that's what I get from uh, Julia Smartov and the sexy mistakes, mm. that it's nothing to be ashamed of, you know? Right. We're all mistakes. Life is chaotic and dirty and filthy and exciting. Yeah. You know? And that's what he's embracing there. Thanks for listening, listeners. Listening. (laughs) And uh, we'll see you you next month. No one's listening now. No one's listening apart from... They would have switched off... If if they had any sense, they would have switched off about 20 minutes ago. If they had no sense and really liked us, they would have switched off five minutes ago. The only people listening now are people who've fallen... And can't reach <laughs> the computer to stop it playing. Well, thanks, thanks fallen to, people. Thanks to those of you who have fallen and can no longer reach the computer to stop it playing. We hope that you're not too badly hurt and will join us again next month for more unsigned European music fun with us, Adam and Joe.